can see that she's very worried, right? But there's one question that we ask these patients and straight away we know the diagnosis, okay? The question is, which is a platonomonic question, and it's very weird to find this events. We ask the patient, do you feel this lump when you're eating and drinking? Then they think a little bit, actually no, I don't feel this lump. But when you're sitting outside my consultation room and you swallow your saliva, do you feel that you have a lump there? Actually, yes, doctor, and I swallow more, and I feel this lump there, and I'm sure I have something there, and um, you know, I'm very worried. So from that statement alone, lump in the throat, that's worse on swallowing your saliva, but better when you're eating and drinking, can only be one condition, okay? The common condition that we call nowadays is called globus pharyngeus. Okay, so you know as a physician what the diagnosis is. Now this condition has been with us for many years and the old name is called Globus Hysterius. Hysteria, what does hysteria come from? Uterus, okay? So when we didn't understand this condition, these young women that came to the doctor said, I'm not lump in this room, and they will tend to point to the level of the cricoid cartilage, which is the beginning of the softness, opening of the softness. We used to blame this uterus for all illness that we didn't understand. So the name was Globus hysterius. Later on, we discovered that this symptom is due to tightness at the top of the esophagus, due to a muscle called the pharyngeus muscle. So hence why we call it Globus pharyngeus. The question is what caused this problem? Okay, and how do we treat it? The patients are very worried and they want to hear reassurance that basically nothing is wrong. So, you have to go through the same process of medicine, you have to take a history, you have to examine the patient, usually you don't find anything. But when you do an endoscopic examination, you will find, you may find in 50% of patients some changes at the level of the hypopharynx where the something will start. There might be some excessive secretions, or even up of the mucosa, which we call back to the urine, and we can diagnose it from an endoscopy. So we know straight away that this patient has reflux, so it fits with the diagnosis of the patients. And once you reassure the patient they don't have cancer, within a week the symptom disappears. However, because there's evidence of reflux, we treat all these patients with PPR. Yeah? And the PPR of choice for my, for my practice is rising. 